All right, so while I was out walking today, I found a ripe pawpaw, which is cool. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you what that is. If you don't know what a pawpaw is, um, you're missing out because they're really unique flavor. They're just really hard to catch at the right time. But um, the people that you will see helping me out are not random strangers. They're actually my friends that gave me a ride back to the trailhead. So, uh, but I uh, think that this whole filming yourself thing is a little weird. So <laughs> I can't, I can't help. Uh, empathizing with that a little bit. So anyway, pawpaws, here they go. This here is a pawpaw tree. Nice big leaves and they grow in these bottom lands next to creeks um, all through the mid-Atlantic, even up into the Appalachians. And this, whoops, this is a pawpaw. They're also called Indian bananas. There's one that came off the tree. It gives a little bit, so I think pawpaws it's right. one of those almost forgotten. By the way, every tree around me is pawpaw right now. Um, they are one of these almost forgotten native fruits in the east. Um, apparently, you can still get them on Amazon, like canned and frozen. They never really took off commercially because uh, they are only ripe two or three days, an individual fruit. And the fruits on a given tree all ripe at diff ripen at different rates. So you might have a tree that's fruiting with edible fruit for three or four weeks. But by the time you find one ripe, it's almost rotten. And uh, ripe, they, they will turn kind of a yellowish color, which you know is why they call them Indian bananas. This one had actually fallen off the tree, so I know it's good, and you squeeze it gently, you can feel it give. So, I'm gonna try this one. They're really tasty. Again, they're just sort of hard to find at the right time. Early to mid-September in my area is the uh, is the target. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do with the huckleberries? Well, we, I'd never had huckleberries before, but I didn't know, like, you, they don't, People have tried to like farm them, but you can't really farm them. Yeah, I've got my backyard's full of them. Oh, is it? Yeah, the, just that's the understory is is huckleberry bushes. Really? Yeah. Right. Cool. Are you videoing all I, of this? I am. All right. All right. Does that make you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Not R nervous. But. Ra random people. Hi, random people. <laughs> Hi. They've never had a pawpaw before, so we're gonna try. <laughs> okay. So hold this. All right. Look. So I can cut it. Am I? No, it's it's you can come very close. It's it's wide angle GoPro. Oh, okay. Did I not bring my? No, I did bring my. All right. But isn't it upside down right now? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna flip it over. Okay. All right. So if I do this right, or if it if it's actually ripe, um, it should be like a bright yellow inside, and it's got rows of like almost like a chestnut um, looking seed. Cool. That kind of get in the way. So there's so not a big pit. No, it's um, the seeds can be kind of annoying though. It's soft. It's soft. There we go. So here, easy way to do this is to um, just stick the whole thing in your mouth and eat around the seeds. Not the, not the peeling though. Here, let me give you a cut. Do you eat the peel? No, no. Okay. But, but it kind of gets sort of mushy. It's got like the consistency of a banana. Yeah. But it should taste like. Um, it's kind of like a mango or a citrus kind of flavor to it. <laughs> I gotta get this is man on the street reactions. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? I like it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of unique. Can't I've had people say it's it's sort of like a non tangy mango. Yeah. It is but it's it soft somewhat, like a banana. It is somewhat mango like what, though. What yeah. a seed looks like. A not very clean one. Mm. That's a mushy one. Yeah, is that more mushy than normal? Mm-hmm. It might be on the on the hey, uh, off peak. The off peak <laughs> side. Of, I got I got napkin too. It might be on the off uh, the downhill peak of brightness. Really? Yeah. Oh, a little bit though. like a little bit fermented almost, starting to ferment. I no, not so. really. That okay. flavor I think is fairly normal. Okay. But what does the, it remind me of? It does sound. I guess it is kind of like banana. Here, <laughs> and here. I just have to have a pile of these. 